When I got my first Android phone, which was an LG V35 ThinQ, at first I thought I was just going to use the default stuff that Aunt LG had, which is this all the, you know, phone app and the messaging app. But later, I decided to use all of Google's Android standard apps, like their phone app, the text matching app, the Google Maps, Google Calendar, Google Clock, all those kind of apps, you know, just the basic what you need on your phone app apps. And because of this, it instructed me that to get a Google Pixel 6, which is the phone I'm using now, which is also being used to record, so I can get the full Google effect, I guess. So I'm very locked down in Google's ecosystem at this point, and I feel like never changing at this point. I like all the apps. I like Google, kind of. Still, ugh, but I, I trust them more than, like, I don't fucking meta. Everyone does at this point. But, yeah. And as of this year, I switched to two other stuff from Google. One is Gmail, and the other, I switched back to Chrome. With Gmail, I figured out how to finally link to my AOL account too, so I can use it with my AOL account, so I can get my AOL emails and all that. And Chrome, I switched for two reasons. One, Google service, of course. And two, it was faster than Firefox, and just more reliable than Firefox. Firefox is kind of in a rut right now, and Chrome, I just went back to. Even went back to, like, Google, like, as a search engine. I like DuckDuckGo, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. But there's a third reason why I went to switch to Chrome. It's a pretty good reason why. And that is, I switched to a Chromebook. Now, if you've seen this before, this I, I showed this in the last video. This is the Lenovo IdeaPad 5 Chromebook Edition. Uh, usually they have these Chromebook versions of their computers where, you know, it has basically the same computer but just has Chrome OS on it. And Chrome OS, I'll say this, is one of my new favorite uh, low-powered operating systems ever to hit a, a computer. First of all, keyboards for Chrome OS are different than a Windows or Mac or... A Linux keyboard. You don't have caps lock or you, caps lock, but you do have a key that's just like the Windows key or the Meta key in on Windows. Now that the function keys are not there, but instead you get back and forth, back and forward keys, refresh, full screen, uh, multiple dead, dead, multiple window screen, brightness. And, of course, audio. But you still get an escape key. And a power key. And, you know, this is a tiny machine, as I uh, I showed you in the last video. This is a very tiny machine compared to the MacBook Pro I used to have. And, because this is a low-powered machine, using a Intel Celeron uh, N40-something, N4000, this thing, because and because of the operating system, can get 12 hours of battery life. Just by just browsing around and just looking at YouTube videos, listening to music, and just doing what I usually do. And on the surface, it's Chrome. It's just Chrome. But Chrome OS feels more and more like an actual operating system. First things first, like, you can actually... First things first is that, you know, you can do, get some apps that you can get on Windows. Like, you know, Parsec, which is the standard version, now, honestly. And Stadia, well, that's the web app, actually, as well. But, yeah, bec but yeah, because of, also, there's Linux, and you can get Minecraft and other applications on this thing. And they work perfectly. As long as you know how to tweak them to work on this computer. As I said, this has an Intel, Intel Celeron N400 with 4 gigabytes of RAM. And of course, the Intel integrated graphics is the only thing we got here. 
But, you know, there's a skew of a lot of web apps, as you can tell. Everything here... Oh, actually, not here, but here, but here, from, actually, wait, no, from here, <laughs> to here, to here, are web apps. But there are some native apps, like the file manager, which is the, you know, the file manager. And the Google Play Store. Yes, you heard me, the Google Play Store. Another big thing, besides Linux is Google Play Apps, and I mean that. You can have Google Play Apps, like Microsoft Solitaire here, and it will work like a tablet, in a tablet mode that you can use with this. Or you can resize it like I do, and resize the whole thing. You can even full screen it. And it, and you, it full screens. Now, this is not a two-in-one. I kind of wish I did get a two-in-one so I don't have a touch screen or it doesn't fold back into a tablet, which would have been nice to use. But, you get the point. So that's why I switched to Chrome, because I also wanted to sync my bookmarks to not just my phone or and my main computer, but also this Chromebook, and I have all my, you know, you know all my tabs just here. And that's why we can, and this is a nice little this computer to also use all Google services because that's what I wanted with this. So here we go with that. It's a reason why, one of the reasons why, not just because Twitch is whatever, but that's why I switched to YouTube for streaming Google. I know I'm, I know I feel like I'm just, you know, dick sucking Google, but there are a lot of issues with Google still. But in terms of my f like favorite like ecosystem, I think Google just has a lot of my favorites. Though you know Google Duo and Google Meet is still a little hazy once in a while. And my other favorite thing about Chromebooks is that you can connect your Android phone to it and get a lot of Google Chrome features. Google Chrome, wow. Google Pixel features like just enabling hotspots, silencing your phone, and locate your phone just for a tap of a mouse pad it's kind of cool and knowing that you can unlock your, your phone like the computer with your phone so if i do this and then open it up again i can hit enter and boom because my phone is unlocked so that's a good benefit of having this whole android and chromebook experience and this thing is a good video thing, you know, it's a 720, around 720p display, but it's a, the thing is, is that if you keep it at the 720p resolution, it's very sharp, very, very sharp. That's the thing with displays, if you go with, like, the native resolution of anything, with the native resolution of the display, it's gonna look amazing. Try to do that with, like, 1080p on a 4K display, it's gonna look eh at best. Now again, I wish a couple of things. I wish I had a bit more of a power powerhouse to this, like like eight gigabytes of RAM and maybe a Ryzen or a better int like an Intel Core in this, uh, and eight gigabytes of RAM, which I think this model actually allows for upgrading. So I might look into that. And Chrome OS is still not fully perfect. Now, mind you, Steam is coming to Chrome OS soon, at some point. I don't know when, but you can play full Steam on here. Now, you can already do that for many uh, ways, like Linux, with this Linux, either through the, you know, the hub, the, uh, the dub file, let's think of that dub file, or flat packs, which this supports flat packs. I have flat packs installed. Actually, the most of the Linux apps I have, which is the two Minecrafts, are the flat packs. So yeah, soon this thing will be like a full-on operating, like regular operating system. But will I use it on like a main machine? No, I still think Fedora is my gonna be my personal choice. But as a laptop, just take this everywhere. It's amazing. Like this thing, I can use this thing for like 
hours a day, and I can get half a battery and then save it for the next day. Look at that, two hours left? What the fuck? Hold on, that's a lie. Oh, man, that made me a liar. But still, these Chromebooks are amazing, and they keep getting more and more amazing, and then... You know, with you know, a new update, they finally added the global dark mode and everything, so that's fantastic. But yeah, would I recommend a Chromebook? These things are popular. These things are perfect for school and just a lot of things. So if you want a school laptop that you just want to write down documents uh, with like Google Slide and Google Doc and Google, uh, I don't know, Sheets, <laughs> this is a good computer. And look at that, this thing is good, for, is cool for cloud gaming, I'm not gonna lie, cloud gaming on this thing is kinda great. I'm not really that much of a cloud gaming person, but when I want to play a few rounds of Destiny, I can, lo I can load it up on here with Stadia. But yeah, that's this Chromebook, this Chromebook is amazing, that's why I switched to a Chromebook. To get that Google services, that also have this as a nice travel laptop. In the embed laptop, when I just want to lay in bed and just use a computer, I can just take this and use it. And traveling with this is amazing, and I can watch stuff on it anytime and just relax and use this. While bolt using a bulky laptop like my main laptop for gaming right now. This is honestly amazing. And I can't wait for more debt, like, operating system features to come to Chrome OS to make it even more of a regular day-to-day -day operating system. But yes, this is the Lenovo ThinkPad Chrome... ThinkPad, no, IdeaPad Chromebook. Has the Chromebook right there, it's even indented. Nice. This is an amazing Chromebook, and I might get a new one anyway, because I want more power. Also, a two-on-one touchscreen, but this is a good one. I'm gonna go now. This was Starkiller, this was the Extras channel, I forgot to even do that intro, but I'm out.